Hi there everyone, it's Giovanni here at Haverford Township Free Library, and welcome back to another uh, evening stretch tonight. The story that I've chosen out for us tonight is a shout out to our grandparents. They're always there when we need them, helpful out, and sometimes they're just very nice uh, to hang around. So uh, the one that I've chosen out for us today is none other than that then when grandpa gives you a toolbox. Now this was written by uh, Jamie L. <laughs> This is written by uh, Jamie L.B. Denaham. Let me get a little bit better so you guys can see. And illustrated by Lorraine Rochka. Uh, this book was published by uh, Sterling Children's Books, uh, an imprint of Sterling Publishing Company. We do not own the rights to this book. So, uh, without further ado, let me show you what happens when Grandma, or when Grandpa gives you a toolbox. Not to be uh, mixed up with Grandma who gave you a lemon tree. Same author. Uh, without further ado, let us all get ourselves nice and comfortable, set up right here for you guys to make sure we can see. So, when Grandpa Gives You a Toolbox, written by Jamie L.B. Denahan and illustrated by Lorraine Rasha. You wanted a special house for your dolls. But surprise, it's a toolbox. Yay. What should you do when grandma, when grandpa gives you a toolbox for your birthday? First, be patient. Uh, grandpa will want to show you every single tool. Next, compliment grandpa as he shares photos of all the projects he's built since he was a kid. Once grandpa runs out of stories, give him a hug, say thanks, and tell him you're off to find a special place to keep your toolbox. Well, little does he know. Do not <laughs> launch it into outer space. Uh, do not feed it to a T-Rex or tie it to a wrecking ball. Well, there are plenty of hiding spots right in your backyard. You don't need to go to the lengths of doing all that. Very easier solutions. It'll be easy to forget about Grandpa's toolbox until you meet someone who's in need and have an idea. <gasps> I know it's hard to see, but that's a little bird right there. It looks like he fell out of the tree. Maybe Grandpa's toolbox will be uh, useful just this one time. <clears throat> As a new builder, you'll want to find an experienced project manager to help, help you get started. Good, job. Good thing there's one around. Together, you'll create a plan and gear up. Well, make sure there's safety first. If there are little safety goggles there and whatever else you might need. With guidance and lots of practice, you'll discover that you're actually quite handy. Your neighbors won't complain about the noise, though she will ask for your help with repairs. And recommend you to all her friends. Oh boy, you're getting popular. At the end of the day, they'll offer to pay you, but you'll have an even better idea. You and Grandpa will work together, uh, measuring and sawing, drilling and hammering, gluing and painting, until finally you built exactly what you wanted. A special house for your dolls! Oh my goodness, we could have done that all along. And to think, now we didn't have to go out. And plans for your next project, too. Oh boy, it looks like you're the talk of the town right now. Oh man, I really do like the illustrations in the back of these. But that has been When Grandpa Gives You a Toolbox, uh, written by Jamie L.B. Dedahan and illustrated by Lorraine Rasha. I definitely enjoyed this one. I thought it was super colorful while also showing what happens when we uh, interact with our, our elders just a little bit more and what happens when they try and teach us some things as well. We have a lot to learn from them. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you'd like to grab this one, this one is currently ready to go out for our curbside service. It goes out for three weeks, just like the rest of our stuff. Uh, if you'd like to get in contact with us, you can reach us on our social media platforms such as YouTube here, uh, Facebook, or Instagram at Haverford Township Free Library. Uh, you can also reach us on our website, www.haverfordlibrary.org. Uh, that wraps it up for me today. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this special evening stretch. I've been Giovanni, and I hope that you guys have a nice rest of your night now. Bye-bye.